I'm so excited about Kingdom Woman um, and the empowerment I think women are going to get out of this. I think the, the thing that will make this whole, maybe a little bit unique from just traditional women's studies is that it's designed to empower women to their full expectation and full manifestation of what they were created to be and why they were created to be that in terms of their connectedness to God's kingdom agenda. Well, and that's quite a statement, actually. Well, I want it to be quite a statement. <laughs> I, mean, I, I want women to come out of there being lionesses, roaring at the excitement of the empowerment. Mm. Yeah. Crystal, you've got to enjoy that. I mean, that idea I that do. you can empower it's, women. It is very exciting, I think, from a from Christendom to hear about how uh, how much God wants you to participate in the in, in rule and dominion, and how much He created you to be a strong part of the world that uh, that we're in. Why do you think women feel so beaten down today? I mean, emotionally. I think we're just tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair. There's just so much to do. There's so much to do. So many things to be. Uh, you know the, that old commercial a long time ago about bringing home the bacon and frying it up in a pan. I mean. Yeah. You know, we're, we're, we've gotten uh, burnt by the grease a few times and we're yeah, just kind right. of worn out. Yeah. But I think, uh, you know, just this, this whole study, this whole dynamic of Kingdom Woman is just going to be great because I think it will be a good time to reorient women mm. toward what's important at a broad scale and what God is calling us to be. Isn't it fascinating that in a culture that has so wanted to lift women up and through all the social engineering tactics that women feel more devalued today? That, that's the impression I have that there's more oppression that women are feeling. Unfortunately, uh, far too many women have been listening to a false kingdom. Mm. And uh, the vibes from that kingdom, while, while the beat sounds good, they found out that that beat can beat them down. Right. And so what we've tried to do is show what the true kingdom looks like and why it's really the empowerment way to go. And we and we don't cut corners to talk about the fact that, that there have been abuses, uh, but yet when you bring it back to being under the rule of God, it changes your trajectory, it changes your perspective, and I think women will be at peace while simultaneously feeling empowered. You know, at Focus, we're so excited about the program and, and the book and the material because uh, both with Kingdom Man and Kingdom Woman, uh, because it does help uh, a, a man and a woman understand their role. What is my biblical role? And there's not a lot of that understanding in the culture again today. Um, well, we've been we want to so, be happy. Yeah, we, yeah, we want to be happy, and <clears throat> we make happiness the purpose rather than the result. If we get the purpose straight, then we can get to the result, and the, and the result won't destroy us. Right. Yeah. And what we don't realize sometimes is that the very things that make us uncomfortable are uh, the very things that make us better. And sometimes happiness is not the way to actually get to where God wants you to be. It has to be mixed in with a few other things. And I think that's what the study and that's what the book do a really good job of is looking at um, the full spectrum. You know, it's not just about the good stuff. It's sometimes the bad stuff is what leads you to the good stuff. And we see that exemplified in so many of the Bible stories that uh, we touch on in the book um, and how God used all kinds of circumstances with women in the Bible to set them up for godly mm -hmm. success, kingdom-oriented success. Hey, Crystal, I, uh, I see in you a strong person. I really do. And I... I mentioned this on the radio program that we taped not long ago, just your, uh, your strength of character, even though you had difficulties. But you remind me of somebody who steps in front of God and says, God, I'm not getting it. I don't understand. How come you didn't show up in this time and in this space? You, you don't just go in with your head down, do you? No, I, I believe that God is a God who wants to be known. He's, he's gone through a lot of trouble through history, throughout biblical history and just the time, history of time to make it clear that he's running after us. And so my desire is to know him fully. I think that's what's so great about this book is it's not just about one aspect of God or one aspect of womanhood. It's the full spectrum and how we as women can know God fully and how we can be empowered um, to fully experience him in the lives that we live.